everybody loves I just have a few projects I wanted to share okay so I thought this was a cute way to decorate this little um, cauldron gumball machine that I had picked up at Dollar Tree I ended up filling it up with some pastel um, pom-poms I put a ribbon on here I added a little spider and then I bought the necklace and I glued the bat necklace on the edges and I thought it turned out really cute so um, I thought that was a cute idea um, also <clears throat> I had made some beaded pens. Um, I did some with the little bats um, that look like this. I also did some, made some Jack Skellington ones that um, they're all, they're not all different. Some of them are the same and some of them are different, but they look like this. I have one extra pen, so I went ahead and used it, the orange one. And then I had did some ghosty pens just a little bit different, but I did these ones right here with the little ghosty. I put the bow on top and then I put the bow on the bottom. And these don't go with a Halloween theme, but I'm gonna just share them anyway. But I ended up making some with the little beads that I ended up getting from Ebony. I had picked up these at one time from Ebony, the little um, uh, gingerbread ones. She is the Rosette Guru. And then um, I had did this one right here. Okay, and then um, I had made a pokey tool, or had made a few pokey tools that look like this. I thought they turned out really cute, just some beads. Um, this was a bead from Joann's. These are from um, AliExpress. I believe these ones were from AliExpress, and then these were gifted to me. And then um, I just bought some of these little spiders from um, Sarah's shop, um, the Magical Mixery. And so that is what they'll look, what the other ones look like. And sticking with the whole witchy theme, um, this is the Cartabella paper that has that little witch on there that reminds me of Casper's little friend, Wendy. And so I just made some little rosettes out of crepe paper. And then I have the little plastic cobweb and then I put another cobweb over it with some little odds and ends just to dress it up a little bit. And it is a little um, um, pill box. I got it at a different store than Dollar Tree. So it's in, I think this is Spanish. I was going to try to get it off with, um, with um, uh, acetate, but I was worried, not acetate, uh, <laughs> um, acetone, sorry. And, but I was worried it might mess up. So I thought the person I'm gifting these to, she's really crafty, so she could probably just cut the little squares around and then um, cut the little squares for the inside because she could use them for gifting. Um, in this one right here, I had made some earrings that says I'm, I, solemn, I'm, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good and they're just like little Harry Potter earrings. And then in here also, I put a keychain right there in the back that you can see there's a little kitty cat. Okay, so that's what I have in that one. And then on this one, I just ended up putting some little crafty capuchons. I put a little ghost. I put some of these little bows with the little skulls. The skulls remind me of Hello Kitty. And then a little cauldron. And then also um, another skull. And these look like those little bats that you see that you can actually purchase. Uh, purchase from Allie and Timu by themselves. Um, and then on this side, I have another pair of earrings and another one of those keychains right here, little uh, kitty keychain in orange. And then this one, I thought it would be really cute to gift the earrings um, with one hat and one witch's broom. Then I have some pink bone beads. And then you guys know, I always talk about buying the little lights and then taking the little pieces off them and um, crafting with them. So I have a witch's hat, I have two ghosts, I have a pumpkin and I have a bat and a spider. So I put those in there to gift. Then I have one of these little Halloween gumball machines with uh, candy corn colors. 
And then in the center, I just added some cabbage, I mean some uh, charms. I have a skeleton, some bats, a little girl, and some bats, um, a pumpkin. Then I have a little pumpkin here, another bat, another skeleton, a little haunted house, a boo word, a spider, a broom, um, a skull and crossbones, a kitty cat, and another little um, skull and crossbones. A kind of so just a bunch of little odds and ends to gift. And like I said, she can go ahead and decorate it however she'd like. Like I said, I didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> but I loved it and I picked it up because I had one. I thought that was perfect for Halloween. Okay. Then I also created this little box. Now this was from Lisa's shop, uh, My Crafty Little Shop. And, um, and she had gifted me some of these words, so I went ahead and glued them and put them together. And then I added a little cabochon with uh, Casper on there. And then, of course, it has a Wendy paper again. And then I just Velcroed it here. Oops, my little Velcro popped off. You always should glue them, and I just forgot to do it. But inside here, I got this idea from Vona. You got these little Tic Tac boxes and you fill them up with a bunch of diamond dots. So inside here, I got pink, white, black, and orange. I'm not gonna pull them all out, okay? Super cute, and I just added some bats on there. Then, I also created um, some, ear some more earrings. I made a few of these ones right here. Um, the only difference is, is the beading, okay? So let me go ahead and share really quick. I did Mickey and Minnie. So this one right here goes with this. So I did like a, a Mickey and Minnie is one set, okay? So I did that. And then I made another set with Mickey and Minnie um, right here. Oops, sorry. I made more sets of Mickey and Minnie's. <laughs> I'm trying to find the matching. And do I see it? Oh, yes. Okay. So the matching one for the Mickey and Minnie is that one right there. I'll put that one aside until I find it. So I did those. And then... I made some more Mickey and Minis that are matching. So I got Mickey Mini Witch and I got a Mini Vampire. I have these cute ones that I decided to add Mickey and Minnie together. Oops, go like that. And then I did some Mickey um, gingerbread ones right here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And I did some witches hats that I thought were pretty cool. Oops. Right here. And I made some zeros. Little Jack Skellington zeros. Right there. And then here's the other set of Mickey, oops, Mickey and Minnie ghosts. And then I made these um, ones right here that have um, the little witch's shoes. I thought these were really cute. And then I put like little hearts, little small charm hearts at the tops. And then I put hearts in the centers. And then I also made some Hello Kitty ones. And I also have some little spiders that I think turned out pretty. And I had a keychain and um, my husband wanted the horseshoe on it. so. I ended up taking the charms off and I made some charm earrings, um, some Texas charm earrings. I made one Ghostbuster charm, just a little uh, claw clasp. 
And then I ended up making a dangle. Let's see, I'm trying to find the end of the day. Okay, here's the claw clasp. So I made a little birthday dangle. It has a little, um, the little thing from Lisa's shop. Um, I can't think of Lisa's shop right now, but um, I ended up ordering this to make the dangle. And then I have a name on here. Then I have like little charms. I got a cupcake. I got um, Hello Kitty with a cupcake. I got Hello Kitty with a little birthday cake. I have a little Sunday strawberry Sunday charm. I have some of these heart charms. I have this little cookie or cupcake uh, uh, store, bake shop. Um, I have another one that has a birthday cake, and then I have one that has an ice cream that says treat yourself. Um, I have this one with a little Hello Kitty with her little purse, and then a little uh, blow up dog, and a one with a spoon all the way here in the back. But I thought it turned out really cute, and then I put her name on it, so just a cute little dangle. And so this one right here, I'm going to package this one up. I just went ahead and put some little spiders in there and some sequence mix. And I'm just going to stick this little cute little hooky tool inside here and seal it right up. See, there you go. And that is my share, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time out and spending it with me. And I will see you guys all on the next video. Bye, guys.